One of the most uncomfortable complications of cirrhosis occurs when fluid accumulates in the abdomen, which is called ascites. Let's discuss why ascites occurs and its impact on your body. We all have a little bit of fluid in the spaces between our abdominal organs. It helps to keep things moving smoothly, like motor oil. Under normal circumstances, that fluid doesn't accumulate and it's recycled into the bloodstream. Ascites is an excessive amount of that fluid which accumulates in certain chronic conditions. In the condition of liver cirrhosis, the liver becomes scarred and congested, becomes overwhelmed with fluid, which sweats out into the surrounding organs. I think of this as a soaking sponge dripping with water. Symptoms of ascites include dramatic swelling of the abdomen that make patients feel very tense and full. It can also make it difficult for the diaphragm to lower against that full abdomen, and the patient's lungs can't expand well and they feel short of breath. Complications of ascites include infection of that fluid. And this occurs because people with cirrhosis don't produce as many of the proteins that help the immune system ward off bacteria. The fluid is like a rich broth that attracts bacteria and absent those proteins that would fight the bacteria, it becomes a setup for an infection. Another complication of ascites is that fluid from the abdomen can be pulled up into the space around the lungs with every breath. As fluid accumulates around the patient's lungs, they can't expand well and the patients can feel extremely short of breath. This condition is known as hepatic hydrothorax. The presence of ascites is a sign of deteriorating health in a person with cirrhosis. That fluid sloshing around their belly throws them off balance, making them more prone to falls. It also becomes a heat sink, making it difficult for them to regulate their body temperature to keep up with their nutrition. And these people start to waste away. This combination of loss of ability, deteriorating nutrition, and muscle mass is a downward spiral. In a separate video, we'll discuss how ascites is managed. If you have the condition of ascites, it's imperative that you be evaluated by a GI or liver doctor. Please subscribe to the channel to be alerted to new content. Thank you for watching and be safe.